In this video, I'd like to discuss molarity. Molarity is a unit of concentration, and it is similar to percent concentration in that it has solute divided by solution. Now, the difference is really right here. The big difference is the numerator is in the quantity of moles. Before we saw the solute in mass or gram quantities or in milliliter volume quantities. In this case, we're seeing that the molarity is defined in moles, which is actually the actual number of molecules or ions, number of particles floating around. That's the big difference between molarity and the percent concentrations we saw before. What I'd like to do is give you some molarity values and explore what those values mean in a little bit more detail. So let's say we had a sodium chloride solution that was 0 0.10 molarity. Sometimes this is called 0 0.10 molar. Now note that capital M is the abbreviation for molarity. So what does this really mean? 0.1 molar. Well, I'm going to rewrite that point 0.1 with the capital M expanded in its definition in terms of moles of solute per liter of solution. So let's see what that means. Point 0.1 M means point 0.1 moles of sodium chloride per one liter of solution. Got to remind you folks, this is a concentration. That's all it is. So let's explore what the numerator means a little bit more in detail. 0 0.1 moles. That's not 0 0.1 grams. That's not 0 0.1 milliliters. That's 0 0.1 moles. So as I said earlier, it's about the number of ions, particles, molecules, whatever you want to call them. So, 0.1 moles is actually 6.02 times 10 to the 22 sodium chloride pairs floating around in one liter of solution. That's what this really means. You will probably rarely if not at all, hardly ever, use this. This is like you're rarely going to look at it in this way. But I wanted to just point out to you what this 0.1 moles of NaCl per liter really means. This is the form you're going to use more commonly. Okay, This is going to be your common way of looking at molarity. Okay, So, let me erase that then here. Let me erase this rare form. And talk a bit more about the more common definition of molarity. Now, this definition says in one liter of solution, there's going to be 0.1 moles of NaCl floating around. OK, that's the definition. This is Molarity is a definition of the concentration. Okay, so let's imagine if we had a liter here. I'm going to draw a little beaker that we imagine is one liter. And the concentration is 0.1 molar. Now, if I take the level right there, if I take some of this out and put it in, oh, 
imagine if this is a hundred milliliters. If I take some of this out and I and I have it now in a hundred milliliters, the question is what's the concentration? What's the molarity? Well, I would imagine it would be the same. So you see concentration is concentration, whether the volume is a liter, a hundred mils, a microliter, a gallon, a pool worth, it's still going to be 0.1 molar. Okay. Really important that we appreciate that the molarity is simply a definition in the proportion of moles per one liter of solution. You don't need to have a liter of solution in order to have a 0.1 molar solution. In general, there are two types of molarity problems. One where you simply calculate the molarity, and the other, more interesting types of problems, where you use molarity as a conversion factor. I'll start off by doing the first type, calculating molarity. In this problem, what is the molarity of sodium chloride if five grams of sodium chloride is prepared in 250 milliliters of aqueous solution. So let's see what we have. We have the solute. Okay, we have the solute, but not moles, we have grams. So what we have to do is convert grams to moles using the molar mass of sodium chloride. All right, so that's one step we need to do before we plug into this equation. We have volume of solution, but it's in milliliters, so we need to convert milliliters to liters. All right, well, let's start off by converting grams of sodium chloride to moles. It's the first thing we want to do. So our given is 5 grams of NaCl. And the molar mass I'll use for NaCl is 58.5 grams. So I'm reciprocating the molar mass so I can convert grams to moles. And that is 0 0.0855 moles in ACL. All right. There is the numerator. Get that point there. Numerator is there, 0 0.0855. So, let me clean up the board a little bit here. And I'll plug that in right up here. 0 0.0855 moles of NaCl. Now I have to plug in the denominator, which I need to convert 250 milliliters to liters. Now, if you're good with the exponents and the conversions, you could do that in your head pretty quickly. But I'll write that out for you. 250 milliliters times 1 liter over 1,000 milliliters. Milliliters cancel out. And left with 0 0.250 liters. And that's the denominator. And that molarity is 0.345 molar. So I want to expand on this problem a little bit. Our answer is 0.345 molar. Write that down here. Okay. 
Let's look at our final answer and the fraction where it came from. Okay. They don't look anything alike, but they're equal. Mm -hmm. 0.345 M means 0.345 moles of sodium chloride, not per 250 liters or 0.25 liters, it's per one liter. Okay, up here, what we did, we're just using the given information to calculate the definition of molarity in moles per liter. Very important distinction one needs to make. Next, I want you to try a problem. This is the molarity of a potassium chloride solution. Five grams of potassium chloride is prepared in 250 milliliters of an aqueous solution. All right, we have the same mass of potassium chloride, but the solute's different. Give this one here a try. Pause the video and come back and check your answer in a few minutes. And I come up with 0.265 molar KCL. I convert 5 grams of KCL to moles. I use 75.5 grams per mole as the molar mass for potassium chloride and divide that 0 0.0662 moles of potassium chloride by 0 0.250 liters. So it's 0.265 molar, or you can look at this as 0.265 moles of potassium chloride per one liter. Again, this is, this is the concentration definition you just calculated. This is what you might actually have in your 250 mil volume, but this is the concentration definition of that solution. I'll show you another variation of molarity where we're going to use it as a conversion factor. I'm going to use 500 mils as my given, and I'm going to convert that 500 mils to liters. So 500 milliliters is 0 0.500 liters. And I'm going to use 0.5 M as 0.5 moles, I'm going to write it out, moles per liter, per one liter. The liter goes in the denominator, liters of solution, and the 0.5 moles goes in the, the numerator, excuse me. So the liters cancel out, not the zero, <laughs> and I'm left with moles. And I end up with 0 0.250 moles of NaCl, as I did in the previous method. Well, we're not done. We have to convert 0.25 moles to grams. And at this point, I would imagine that's pretty fundamental. So 0 0.250 moles times the molar mass of sort of chloride. And I'll use 58.5 and I'll get 14.6 grams of sodium chloride. Because the moles will cancel out and I'm left with grams. I'll also show you an alternative way of finding moles. In this way, we'll plug right into the definition of molarity, in a similar way that we did with percent concentrations. If we do that, simply write 0 0.500 molar equals x moles of our solute NaCl divided by the volume that the solute is in. 
In this case, it's 0.500 liters. I want to point out a couple things here. This is the concentration definition, 0.500 molar. Okay. Some quantity of NaCl, the unknown X, is in 500 milliliters of solution. That's what we're told in the problem. So we have to make sure we translate that information down here. So that solute in this volume is going to be equal to this concentration. So I just want to make sure you're keeping your wits about, you know, not putting one liter down here, but in fact the volume that the solute is in. And the other detail is that we need to convert milliliters to liters. When we solve for x, we'll find that it's 0 0.250 moles of NaCl. And at that point, you'd want to convert that to grams of NaCl using the molar mass. And that was already done for you in the previous problem. Try this one. How many grams of KCl are in 500 mils of a 0.5 molar aqueous solution of KCl? So pause the video and try it out. Okay, this is what I come up with. I'm showing two ways to get the number of moles of KCl. First way is to plug into the definition of molarity. 0.5 molar equals x moles over the liter, or the volume in liters that were given. That is 0.5 liters or 500 milliliters. That's one way, and I get 0.25 moles, exactly the same as the previous problem. Or we could use molarity, this molarity, as a conversion factor, and the given 500 mils as our starting point. We need to convert that volume to liters, of course, and we come up with the same number of moles. Now, it's interesting because it seems like this problem is going to work out exactly the same way as the previous problem. Well, so far it has, but the difference comes in right here in this last step when we actually have to figure out the mass of the particular solute. The previous problem we had sodium chloride, and this problem we had potassium chloride. And the difference is the molar mass between the two compounds. So this is going to give us a different answer. Molarity problems, unlike percent concentration problems, are different in that the identity of the solute really matters because in molarity problems we need to use the molar mass of the solute. In percent concentration problems we do not use the molar mass of the solute. 